Well, good morning. Today's press conference marks uh, the beginning of a conversation uh, on the Council of the District of Columbia and its role in the future of the city. To that end, I've assembled a dynamic group of individuals devoted uh, to public service who will help me start this process. Let me say on the onset that I want to thank uh, hundreds of residents that have reached out to us that have agreed uh, to participate uh, on this transition and how thankful I am to the emails that we continue to receive, uh, letters that are sent to us about things that they would like to see as it relates to the Council of the District of Columbia. And I look forward to their valuable input. The women and men behind me share my vision for the District of Columbia. They are committed to ensuring that we, one, operate fiscally in a responsible manner, two, that we continue education reform, Three, that we ensure that we have an open and transparent process and that the government operations, especially here at the District of Columbia Council, is uh, open and responsive to the residents. Over the course of the next two months, this team will conduct a conference review of the Council's overall operations. I've asked uh, these leaders to evaluate current practices and provide me with observations for improving the way the Council does business. I believe uh, in an equal branch of government, executive and legislator side of the, of the government, and I know that Mayor-elect Gray believes the same thing. He's articulated it a number of times to me uh, openly and privately. Like Mayor Gray, we are not taking public money for the transition. Instead, we will look for outside resources to help fund our efforts, as we know our budget situation here uh, in the District of Columbia. Uh, we will start off with an initial budget of about $150,000. Uh, and we will release all information at the end of the transition so we're open and transparent of expenditures and, co and contributions. Let me say that uh, Mayor Elect Gray did a phenomenal job as chair of the Council of the District of Columbia, moving this council forward. He created the Office of Policy Analysis, uh, which has done a phenomenal job. He's also uh, created the Youth Services Department, and many of you, if you haven't had an opportunity to watch the 10, 12 hours of hearing from our wonderful youth throughout the city, many of their first time here in the Wilson Building, which is their building, really exposed them an opportunity to give them a voice. Uh, let me say that as we move forward, I tend to look at best practices on other areas. Let me say I will be working with all of my colleagues, having one-on-one uh, -on -one meetings with them that will be involved in this process and any members of their staff that they feel appropriate uh, to help move the city forward. Now I'm pleased to announce and introduce my transition team and I'll just say these are just individuals that will be leading different areas of the transition. This transition team will be not only the women and men that are behind me but the men and women that are home that are at work right now those that want to send an email because they can't uh, afford to participate because they are working every single day, some of them two jobs. For those that are concerned about education reform, I look forward to reaching out to uh, parents, uh, to uh, PTA, civic associations. Good to see my good friend Robert Branham is here. So we're going to have an inclusive process which we're going to take in a lot of information within the next 60 days. I want to start off with Gregory McCarthy who I've known uh, for the past nine years. He's a good friend. He's agreed to, agreed to lead my transition team. I've had an opportunity to personally work with him when I first joined the council. I'm extremely grateful, Greg, for your willingness to serve in this transition. Uh, as you will know, he previously served as the Director of Policy and Evaluation and the Deputy Chief of Staff under former Mayor Williams from 1999 to 2006. He's currently Vice President of Government uh, and Municipal Affairs for the Washington Nationals uh, Baseball Club. I heard this summer and over the last six years, many of our citizens are feeling disconnected from the way the council is doing business, even as Chairman Gray has done a phenomenal job making those improvements. And we want to take it, you know, if we went from here to here, and we want to take it from here to here. We, could, we will conduct a thorough evaluation of the current external communication functions. We will look at new ways to increase the public participation in the council's work through interactive technologies. It's my pleasure to announce that Michael Warren, who is a dear friend, who I had a chance to know, and I, I would imagine, since uh, President Clinton days, uh, Michael uh, will lead that effort 
Michael is a principal and managing board member of the Albright Stonebridge uh, Group. He was a member of the Obama-Biden transition team. I believe he was the executive director of the President's Economic Council. Uh, Michael will serve, uh, also serves on the board of directors for the District of Columbia's Retirement Board, and he's on numerous boards, and you'll have some of his information that's been passed out to many of you. Rod Woodson, who I've known for at least 10 years, who is a partner at Holland and Knight, and I consider him a good friend, brings uh, a decade of experience in D.C.'s administrative and le legislative practices. He will lead an analysis and possible changes in the current uh, legislative procedures and rules. Uh, he's be, will be joined by many of people uh, that uh, have signed up to participate in that particular aspect of the transition. Uh, another individual who I have a tremendous amount of respect for, who really uh, is a guy with in integrity and character and always shares his ideas on policy, and that's Walter Smith. The director of D.C. Appleseed has agreed to review the operations of the D.C. Auditor. Thank you, Walter. He will conduct a thorough review of the office and assess the possible improvements necessary to fulfill the office mission. Walter has participated in dozens of external reviews of district governmental functions, and I'm extremely excited to have uh, his assistance. Uh, Natalie Ludway, who I believe is one of the finest attorneys in the District of Columbia, who I've worked with uh, way before I got on the council of the District of Columbia. Uh, she's a partner with Leftwich and Ludaway, a law firm that specializes in labor and employment matters and will lead the assessment of the Office of the General Counsel. Natalie is Vice Chair of Care Force and a member of the Judicial Nominations Commission of the District of Columbia. Now, there are a couple other uh, members of the team who are not here today and could not be here. First, Neil Rogers who currently directs the Office of Committee on Libraries, Parks, and Recreations, will lead an assessment of the Council's administration functions, largely overseen by the Office of Secretary. Neil previously served as uh, Chief of Staff of the Department of Parks and Recreations, uh, and he will be joined and is working closely with uh, our current Secretary of the Council, who does such a phenomenal job, Cynthia Brock-Smith. Finally, Jeff Hummer, previously Chair of the Washington Convention Center Authority, and served as Merrill Lynch as head of Relationships Banking Group, also managing director of global finance, and headed up the global diversity for Merrill Lynch. We'll lead the review of the city's fiscal situation as well as the functions of the council's budget office. I've asked them to evaluate the feasibility of creating a budget advisory council uh, modeled after the policy advisory council, which was chaired by Alice Rivlin. Uh, to take a look at not only the revenue but the expenditure side to really create a robust budget office that will provide this council uh, with all the necessary tools as we continue to, to, to tackle these tough financial times. Uh, over the next few weeks, we will evaluate the council's day-to-day -day operations. We'll work with my colleagues on the council, seek their input throughout this whole process. We'll be open, transparent and look forward to working with the public on their suggestions and op op uh, observations on how to improve the roles of this uh, a legislative branch of government. Now, I'm confident with the support of so many people that may not even be here in this room today and unable to watch on television because they're working, uh, that they're going to actually help us uh, by sending in information on how we can make improvements on the legislative uh, branch of government, and I look forward to implementing uh, some of those ideas so we can make this Council of the District of Columbia a council that reaches more, touches more, hears from more, and responds in a, in a more effective and efficient way.